Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. A new build of Windows 10 mobile to play with. This is 14291 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring, which now includes a lot more devices, not just the 950, 950XL. It also includes the um, like 6, 930, 1520 and some others. You can see our previous post about that. So now that Windows 10 mobile is rolling out to Windows Phone 8.1 devices, that's getting the Threshold 2 build, the standard sort of release build. This is running the Redstone build, and this was released last night, along with the PC version, and we'll talk about that on another video. That includes Edge uh, extensions and things like that. So, like I said, Microsoft Edge has changed, but in the PC versions, I don't think we're going to see too many changes to this. We can still pin tabs and things like that. Um, so yeah, I don't think we're going to see too many changes on that. Also, the Maps app has been updated. Uh, I had some issues with the Maps app fairly recently with it, with the GPS not working correctly when using turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So it's fine when you're um, when you're just looking at the map and it knows exactly where you are, but then it goes haywire when you're on GPS turn-by-turn. -turn. Um, so let's have a see what's new in this in this build. Well, we've got a new alarm app or an updated alarm clock app so we've got this new um, alarm picker here so it's a bit easier to use be able to navigate around uh, for creating and editing alarms and it now actually tells you when the alarm is going to be so you know it kind of you set the alarm and it makes sense uh, for Japanese one-handed there's a special keyboard which um, I won't bother showing on here because I haven't got that enabled if I go back to the maps app you can, we can see some of the other changes, we've got this tabbed view now, so we can create another, multiple tabs. So I should be able to create another tab, and uh, let's do that to run. So I click the tab there, and you can see sort of quick access to different things, different routes, different uh, locations in the in the mapping app, so I can uh, quickly tab between them, which is a really good idea, actually. I really like the idea of that. So. Um, you can have all sorts of different routes currently route, mapped out, and then you can quickly switch between them. I think that's a, I think that's a really good idea. So it's quite handy. So you could have multiple routes, and then you can tab between them, switch in between them, whichever. So you can do a search for the same location and go two different ways, or two different locations, and then use this tabbing to switch between them, which I think is a good idea. Uh, Microsoft said they improved the logic for uh, searches so you get better and closer results. Uh, you can search for 3D cities. You can now access your favourites offline and add note to, notes to them. And they said they've updated the turn by turn design to improve glanceability and landscape like before. Now, this is where I've had the issues with, so I'm going to just try this. Now see, I don't know if this is a, a particular issue with my device, or is it in landscape mode? Actually, that's right now. Let's try there. And it's gone right there. Before, it was going haywire, and it was showing me somewhere where I wasn't. I wonder whether rotation and unrotation fixes that. I'll have to do some more testing on that. We've now got the Feedback Hub, which is um, brings together the Insider Hub and the Windows Feedback Hub into a sim or a Windows Feedback app into a single app called the Feedback Hub. So this is where you can do feedback and report feedback, but you can also see uh, stuff from the Insider announcements and things like that. So again, you've got um, so it brings those two app functionalities back into one location, and it takes some time to load. I'll leave that loading. While that's loading, um, I'll talk about some of the things that have been fixed in this build. Um, they fixed the connectivity with web security encryption, so that, that works now. They've fixed an input with slower text input speed and word flow recognition. Uh, the all apps list is now uh, updated uh, to follow the make text larger thing. So if you've got make text larger setting enabled, this now reflects that, which it didn't before, which is good. And they fixed an issue with the touch targets could be out of alignment with the photo picker, which I'm really glad they've done that. Let's see if I can show you what I mean by this. Now, 
Okay, so um, when you were picking a photo, and I can tap it like that, that's fine. Most of the time it worked, but every now and again you tap that one, and this one over there would would enable, and so on. So I'm glad they've uh, I'm glad they fixed that. What they haven't fixed is the Bluetooth uh, link with the Microsoft Band, so there's still an issue with that. So if you've got uh, UK English as your default language and you will no longer get sync with the band, you've got to add an additional language. And I think it's the same if you add US in it originally and then you've got to add an additional. So I've added the US language to this and now this syncs with my band without any problems. Also the gadget app still doesn't detect the display dock for continuum so it won't do your firmware update if there's one available. Uh, they also said there's an extra setting in updates and security which is that Windows Insider app um, and if you go into that it will crash so don't do that um, but uh, in the future that's where some of your Insider settings will be uh, enabled So that's it for the phone build, not a huge amount of change on there, mainly the fixes, the new mapping app, um, uh, which obviously with here maps being withdrawn, that has got more focus on it now. That's 14291 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. Um, you can see more videos on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com and at iStix on Twitter. And look out for our PC hands-on build with uh, and look out for uh, hands-on with 14291 for the PC coming soon.